What's going on ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again to another Big J basketball video. We're going to do something a little different today. Not going to open a new box or anything. Um, but uh, I did see something cool that 502 Frank posted on his YouTube channel uh, with his top 10 most valuable cards in his collection. It was a really cool video, fun to watch and inspired me to do one of my own. So I thought I'd give it a try and see how it goes. Um, so I had a couple honorable mentions before we get into the top 10. Um, these two cards right here, Kobe and LeBron rookies. Um, and this is going to be a very he uh, Kobe and LeBron heavy video. Uh, so this is just a taste of more to come. Uh, the reason these are honorable mentions is because the prices of these are kind of all over the place. For some reason, this LeBron Chrome card seems to have dipped a little bit. I saw two recent sales, um, both under 600 bucks, and it was a, over 700 for a while. Um, this one's in pretty good condition. Centering's a little bit off left to right. Definitely thicker on the right than on the left, but overall in really good condition. Um, so judging by recent sales, this is around the $550, $600 range. This one is all over the map, this Kobe Finest Gold uh, Rookie. Um, this one centered really well. Left to right, maybe slightly off, but top to bottom is really good. Um, still has the peel on it. Everything looks great. It is greening a little bit, though. I have seen some that are clear without as much green in certain areas. You can see Kobe's turning a little, a little bit green there. Um, but again, prices are all, all over the map on this, depending on condition. I've seen these go for as low as 450 recently and as high as like 800. Um, but since prices are kind of crazy on both of these up and down, I didn't put them into the top 10, just threw them both um, as honorable mentions. And so we have something there in the the background as we go through the rest of our list. Um, as we get into the top 10, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, be greatly appreciated if you did. Hit that subscribe button, click the bell for notifications, click the like button if you enjoy the content on the channel. Very much appreciated. Um, let's go ahead and get into our top 10 now. So number 10 is uh, <laughs> nothing super fancy, but st uh, still a really big card, Zion Prism Rookie PSA 10. I actually had three of these, believe it or not, at one point. I've sold two of them, probably too early, um, but used that money to buy some other stuff, so it all worked out. But this one looked really good. Centering was really great on this one. That rookie logo sometimes can be off. This one was really good. So this is a really good example uh, of a PSA 10. Prices are starting to creep back up on this again as well. It was probably under $500 for a little while uh, during the bubble and after the season, but... As the season's about to start, it looks like this one's creeping back up to the close to the $700 range. So we'll see if that one can keep on climbing. This is also the, um, the newest card in the entire top 10. So this is the only card I have from the 1920 season. Everything else you're gonna see coming up is, uh, is older than that one. So get to show off some, uh, some cards I usually don't get to show off, which is kind of fun. Number nine on the list is Shaquille O'Neal, PSA 9 Beam Team. Um, this one was really pricey uh, a few months ago. I think it was hitting over uh, like 1,200, 1,300 bucks and prices have cooled off a little bit. So it's a shame I didn't get this back graded in time when those sales were really high. <laughs> I could have made a nice profit. I bought a box of Series 2 Top Stadium Club from 92, 93 a few months ago and actually pulled this from the box, graded it myself and was really happy that it got a nine because these are very condition sensitive. Um, recent sales in this are in the mid to high 600s. I've seen it go for as high as around 900 recently, uh, but that one was more of an outlier. Um, so it's kind of priced similarly to uh, the Zion rookie. Uh, next up, number eight, is a Luka Doncic PSA 10. Optic Rookie. So again, I had two of these, sold one of them way too early for about 300 bucks. These are selling for over 800 now, between 800 and 850. Um, during the peak though, I think these were getting close to a thousand, if not over a thousand. So we'll see how Luca's season starts off. Maybe these will climb back up again. Maybe it'll hit that thousand dollar mark. Again, I actually pulled this out of a Walmart repack product last year when they had packets, uh, packs of uh, 1819 Optic Retail in the Walmart repack product, which was a steal when those were still available and those optic packs were climbing. Um, obviously you can't find any of those now, but pretty cool to pull this out of a cheap retail product. 
upgrade it myself and now have a car that's nearing a thousand dollars again uh, next up on the list this is number seven this is a redemption i've showed on the channel before this is from 1819 immaculate Giannis patch auto really nice three color three color patch there with the white the gold and the, the green numbered 16 of 25. this one uh, looks like it dropped a little bit in price the most recent sale i could find was only uh, only i mean still a lot of money but only 900 dollars I think when these first uh when panini first started issuing these redemptions they were going for you know close to 2000 there's one on ebay right now with a buy it now of 1700 that no one has bought um, but again the most recent auction sale went for 900 but i anticipate this to climb back up again i think Giannis cards dipped a little bit after the season when the bucks you know had a pretty bad showing um in uh in the bubble and got knocked out of the playoffs but if the bucks start off good, I think that card's gonna climb back up again. And now we get into some really cool stuff. So everything else now um, for the rest of the list is gonna be uh, $1,000 plus. So this is number six. And I've showed this card before in the Kobe video I did. This is a Clear Vision Auto from 2015, 2016 on card. It's actually on like a clear sort of acetate piece in the middle of the card. Numbered 82 of 119. I wish I got 81. That would have been cool for the 81 point game. Um, but still a really cool card, really cool auto. Uh, most recent sale I could find was $1,000, but Kobe on card autos are just climbing and climbing and climbing. So, and there's none for sale on eBay right now, I don't think. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But I think Kobe autos, I don't see these going down ever. I think these are only going to increase. Uh, and value over time. Next one on the list, number five, speaking of Kobe autos, we got another Kobe auto. This is actually my favorite Kobe auto that I have. I love the number eight jersey um, with the old school retro eight Kobe uh, Lakers exclusive player edition uh, Jordan eights. Um, and again, on card auto, this one is numbered to 99. Most recent sale I could find on this one was 1150. And uh, I think there's there's none for there's no raw versions for sale on eBay right now. There's a BGS 9.5 gem mint that someone has up for ten thousand dollars. I can't imagine anyone's going to pay that much for it. Uh, I've never really thought about grading these. Maybe I should. Uh, I don't know. But this is again, I, I last sale was at one thousand one hundred fifty bucks. So I, I think these are probably going to keep going up in value uh, over time. Getting into the top four now. Uh, we got another. LeBron. So this is his Topps Chrome rookie card. This is a pretty clean copy. Um, it might be hard to see in the video, but there's a slight kind of surface issue right there. Centering is not perfect. It's definitely thicker on the left than on the right. Top to bottom centering is not bad, but overall edges and corners are good. It's a really clean looking copy for the most part. Um, I, if I graded this, I would say just because of that slight surface issue, uh, might get a PSA 8 at most. Uh, at worst, it might get a PSA 7. It's somewhere between 7 and 8. Um, but for a good-looking raw copy like this, they're going for around 1500 This was actually the most I ever spent on a single card. I think I paid 900 for it when I first got it. As these were climbing in price and nearing 1000 I said, you know what, once they hit 1000 they're never going to go back. So looks like I, I was right so far. It seems like the cheapest raw version you can find in one that looks okay uh, like this is around 1500 you can probably find a cheaper version if it was really off center or if there was some major issue uh, but for the most part 1500 is probably a good price for a raw version like that okay last three cards and number three surprise surprise another kobe autograph uh, this one is numbered uh, 20 of 25 so this is my lowest numbered kobe auto it's weird, it kind of looks like it almost might be a sticker, but it's not. That's just the space they put on the surface for the player to sign. It is an on-card auto. Um, I found a sale for a similar card. It was an unnumbered version. So there was this version of 25, there's a non-numbered version. The non-numbered version went for 1,500. Um, so I imagine this version would probably sell for a little bit more. I did find a sale for this exact copy, numbered 25. It was a... Uh, I think it was a BGS, a BGS nine that sold for around sixteen hundred. 
this is a really clean copy. There's no, no major issues or anything. So I would assume it would probably sell similar to that BGS-9. Uh, so probably over 1500 bucks on that one. Put it here. And then last two cards, both uh, actually come out of the same set, interestingly enough. Uh, so the number two card is a LeBron Kaboom. So this is the original Kaboom case hit insert, which was from 2013-14 Innovation. I opened a box of 2013-14 Innovation on this channel, not well, probably a little while ago, earlier in the year. Um, it didn't hit a Kaboom, but it kind of inspired me to at least try to complete this set. So one by one, I tracked down each card, bought them all individually. I think I paid around 400 bucks for this LeBron, and I'm really glad that I decided to chase this set when I did because these prices have completely exploded in the last couple months. The most recent sales I could find on the LeBron, I couldn't find a raw sale uh, within the past few months, but back on October 15th, a PSA 9 sold for $3,750, and on a uh, November 21st, a BGS 9 sold for $4,200. This one's raw, it's a very clean copy, there's a tiny bit of whiting at the bottom here. Corners are a little rough, but the surfaces are good. Centering's good. Um, the front corners and edges are good. It's really only the back that has a little bit of, little bit of whiting right there. But otherwise, a very, very clean copy. So I got to imagine this would probably sell for somewhere close to the PSA and, uh, and BGS 9. There's the only one listed on eBay that I could find right now was a PSA 8, um, and this is probably maybe a little better than a PSA 8, say 8.5 or higher. And the PSA 8 is listed for 3,300, but it has not sold yet. So this is probably somewhere in a $3,000 range um, if you're selling it raw, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, depending on uh, when you sell it and who ends up buying it. Um, and that brings us to our very last card, and it should have given you a hint when I said that the top two cards were both in the same set. And here it is. This is the most valuable card in my collection. I did a full video showing off my entire Kobe collection and I completely forgot to even include this one because it was separate from all my, all my Kobe cards. This was with the completed set with all the other Kaboom cards. So I completely missed it, forgot about it. Um, this was the last card I needed to complete the Kaboom set. And uh, I paid what I thought was a ton of money. The auction, it was an auction, and it ended at $609. And I was like, man, I can't believe I spent so much money on this card. But I, I knew it was my last chance to get it since these rarely come up for auction. And a lot of the ones that were sold for Buy It Now on eBay were just way too high. And um, since then, not a lot have sold. It's a very rare card, does not come up for sale very often. On November 10th, a raw version of this card sold for $3,500, um, which I can't believe that's like seven times more than I paid for it just a few months ago in the auction that ended at $609. A PSA 10 version sold for $12,888 two months ago. Um, and I'm sure it's only going to go up uh, since then. And I've thought about maybe grading this one because I really can't find a flaw. The corners are very good, tiny bit of white in that top left corner, but for the most part, maybe a little bit of white down there, barely noticeable. This should grade at least a PSA 9 and might have a shot at a 10, depending on how much they ding you for the back here. Um, so maybe a PSA 9, but if I caught a really good grader on a very lucky day, maybe a PSA 10, um, but I've been hesitant to to mail this in anywhere. I want to just kind of keep it for now. Probably won't grade it anytime soon, but maybe in the future, we'll see. Um, but there you have it. That's the top 10 cards in my collection. And again, this video wasn't made to, to brag or boast. It's just kind of uh, wanted to show off some stuff that I don't get a chance to show off very often. Most of my mail days are filled with Alonzo Mourning and Manager Nobly cards that probably will never make a, a top 10 most valuable countdown on the channel. Um, but there you have it. Those are the top 10 cards in terms of value in my collection. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so thanks for watching this one and I'll see you guys on the next one.